Hello, and welcome back, everyone. So, at the end of the last episode, I said that I would come back and, like, upgrade armor, re-equip things, etc. Uh, off-screen. But as I was heading back to the inn to rest up and such, I had an encounter that I decided needed to be caught on film. And here we are. Well met, young one. I trust that thou art well. I have heard many things about thee in the past few ten days, and I am most impressed. Say... And what have you heard? All good things, I hope. That would depend on whom thou would ask now, wouldn't it? For the most part, it would appear that thy actions are well-intentioned, and are therefore received as such. Much is as I would have done, though perhaps not using the same method. Likely the clues also point thee in the same direction I would go. Um, I know where I should go and I do not need your help. That seems mean. I am certain of where I must go, but perhaps I should confer with you just to be sure. That sounds, that sounds nicer. As thou hast no doubt determined, the clues seem to point towards the Cloakwood Forest. Tis likely that the scoundrels behind the bandits have some sort of base within the wood. Of course, I am only telling thee things that thou dost already know. Good luck on thy travels, young one. Be wary as well. For thou, as I scroll, for thou art making powerful enemies both here and within thyself. I am sorry I cannot speak more plainly on this matter, but events must unfold as they will without any meddling from this old man. All right. So now we're talking to Elminster. Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to... Uh, we have some magical items that need to be identified. So let us identify. Ba-bum-bum. Gonna go identify who has things that need to be identified. Haha. -ha. Ooh, why does it cost money to identify? 100 coins, it pop. Arrow. Ice arrows, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And... Yeah. This arrow is magically enhanced so as to burst into a rolling ball of ice and cold when fired. When the arrow strikes its victim, a shock of cold will travel through its body, both burning and numbing to the very core. Ah, the numbing burn, of course. And then... They are... Mage robe of fire resistance. I love it. Due to, the due to the extremely volatile nature of most magics, mage robes of fire resistance are not uncommon among young acolytes and their wizardly tutors. As with other such robes, they cannot be worn except by wizards. Fire resistance plus 20, that's nice. Because between uh, Zahn's sword and these robes, that would be quite a bit of fire resistance. Warhammer? Like others of its type, this warhammer is made entirely of steel with a bone-crushing hammer mounted upon an 18-inch shaft. It has also been bestowed with a small number of magical properties, however, thus making it more effective in combat. Ooh. All right, so we get a... It's Thaco plus one. I didn't see the title. I lost the title in here. Uh, oh, it's a warhammer plus one. Duh, it's right over here in the left column. Don't mind me. Doing dumb things. Gauntlets. Identify... They are Legacy of the Masters. That sounds interesting. Gauntlets of Weapon Ex <laughs> Gauntlets of Weapon Expertise, Legacy of the Masters. Highly sought after among novice warriors, these items were once the property of the royal family of Threskull. Imparting a portion of the prince's legendary skill, these gauntlets grant the bearer mastery over all forms of weapons. The majority of their many previous owners seem to have come to bloody ends, though. <laughs> <laughs> The gloves grant the ability of experience, but not the wisdom. That's great. Uh, Thaco plus one, damage plus two. Cool. Cool, cool. Mmm. Who would benefit most? Thaco plus one, damage plus two. Can... I don't think the monk can use that. Can... No, it's not used by Wobbles. Hmm. I might give those to... Oh, gosh. Rasad. There you go. Just to help improve his Thaco, because I think he has the worst Thaco of my peoples at the moment. Then, oh, two medium shields. They're both medium shields plus one. Fantastic. I don't think I need to read the stuff there. 
Nothing special. Ah, a longbow, yes. Longbow marksmanship. Uh, the dead shot. I like it. Plus two. Driven by years of rivalry, the Dukes of Spandelion and Del Thuntal decide to be, 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 decided to organize a private contest that would proclaim the better archer between them. Both boasted the power of their magical bows, but that wasn't enough for Edward Dest, Duke of Spandelion. He arranged for the theft of his opponent's bow, and on the day of the contest, he couldn't help gloat in his advantage. The Duke of Delthuntal, known only as Raymond, demanded a demonstration of Edwald's skill on a scarecrow that he had placed. Edwald Dest drew his longbow and released the arrow with determination, not stopping to think how uncannily the target resembled himself. Ooh. The missile split the large voodoo doll's head in twain, and at that moment, Edwald's head did much the same. Holy crap! That's... Terrifying? That is that who that is mm. Ah magic. Magic. Fun times for everyone, I guess. Alright, so given that, let's see what is best equipped and by whom. Ice arrows have to go to Imuin, of course. Robes can only go to Zon. Why can't I not give him the item? Is he full up on items? He is full up on items. There we go. Let's try that again. And then... Doesn't do anything really damage-wise. Just gives him way more fire resistance. Which is fine. I suppose. Then... Shoot. Silver ring. I gotta remember which one's for the magical items now, which is not going great for me. There was... A war hammer, right? Hammer plus one? Really only... What is this? Ashadina plus two. I could probably sell the Warhammer plus one. Because I don't think... I don't think... Man. Just throw more items about. I don't think Ovid Clodge is going to be better off with this. Yeah, not even better off with this than the... I mean, more damage, but the Thaco's not great. And she needs to keep the sling. Hmm. Gauntlets, though. Who? Gauntlets, they're saying is best for Rasad, which is perfect. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Yes, they go and more damage. I love it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Do, 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 do. Are these shields plus one? Medium shield plus one. One of each to these people will be better than their large shields, though. That is the question. It will, actually. Huh. Cool. Alright. I think I accept, because this is... Yeah, it's an extra plus one versus missiles, but this is already... Yeah. This might as well be... So, an extra plus one versus missiles for the large shield is kind of the same as having an, a plus two. So we're gonna gonna keep with those things. Sounds like a good plan to me. Then she has the arrows. Good, good. What did Zahn have? Is it the, the dead shot? Really only... Okay. So that's the same. What about the sling versus the bow? No. Okay, so the longbow I'm gonna give to Khalid to replace his regular long longbow here. Ooh, yes. Considerably better. I approve. And I think that accounts for all of the magical things. I think. Alright, cool. Everyone's gotten some good, some good, good stuff. Oh, Rasada's encumbered and can't move. 
Um, don't need everyone. There's Sod, yeah, okay. Why can he not? Okay, I see. Are we good? I think we're all good now. No, Khalid is now encumbered and cannot move. It's fine. Hmm. You have need of me? Should I do I just need to drop something? I'll give it to MON, maybe. You're a queer fellow. Yes. Cheese and crackers. I guess I'll ground it. Because it's just taken up too much space somehow. Unless it, unless Zon can carry it. Zon is fine. Cool. That's how we'll do it. You've a task as you direct. Alright. Now that we've done that, and have figured things out. You must gather your party before venturing. Yes, yes, gathering the party, so on and so forth. Moving on. Time to sell some items, see if I can maybe buy some nice things too. To Starting from the top. Sell. Sell. Um. <laughs> Got a lot of throwing daggers. I'm just gonna line of them. Go and sell that. Hmm. What do I want to hold on to, I guess? I'm really just going to sell as much as I can, I think. So, I know I should probably be a little more concerned about the spells that I am just selling, but I am trying to just, you know, not think about that at the moment. Right there. Oh, oh, he has a lot of things, though. Can't use any of those things, though. This is where we really start making bank. <laughs> I should see, actually, before I do anything, I should give all the scrolls to Zahn so then we can see if he's unable to use a bunch of them or not. Talk again. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Oh, he can't learn fireball. How disappointing. Or stinking cloud. Or agonizer. Mm. Well, suppose I'll just have to deal with it. So one of these greases. Thing is, what books do I already know? So I know Grease and Sleep, so I can probably I can get rid of those. Oh, those are not colored, probably because he can't use them. I'm just gonna write a bunch of magic. Write all the magic. 
do some spell management. Talk to him one last time. Nature servant is good at is open to all who behave themselves. Everyone who behaves themselves. That is unfortunate, because we are going to cause quite the ruckus. Him, 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 him. Actually, not really. But, uh, I want him to feel that way. Just keep him uncomfortable, really. Can I get full plate here? No, I can't. Hmm. Alright, whatever. It's fine. The thing now is to... Yes, oh, oh. Take a nap. You know what? We've done great. We're gonna go for Royal because we can afford it. Yay! We're gonna get rested and healed and then we shall wander off to Cloak Wood. Cloak in the Woods. Woods and Cloaks. I... I... You've attacked as you direct. I maybe could have come up with a joke there, but it... it... I'm having a slow down. Uh, a slow day. It just it didn't... Didn't land quite like I would like it to, you know? While they're traveling there, I guess I will... Journal. Cloakwood. Yep, that is literally all there is right now. It's Cloakwood. Cool. So that is what we shall do. I should check the world map. Cloakwood. Unreachable. Hmm. Alright. Fine. Is it unreachable if I go to the edge of things? And travel we do off to Cloakwood. Hopefully I won't get my ass handed to me. Like I have done before. Or like what happened at the previous bandit camp. Can I get through the trees? That'd be lovely. Mm-hmm. Spiders. I do need to make sure that, yes, ranged. She also needs to be ranged. We'll go from there. All right, everyone attack this bad boy. Perfect. Is that a little guy? Oh, it's a squirrel. That's funny. That, that's, that's funny. There are squirrels. You've attacked as good as done. I do want to investigate that. That's a rock, isn't it? I thought it was a fancy statue. Oh well, that's fine. Oh. Who are these? Palin? Balquo? Aldith, let's talk to this guy. You there! Identify yourself! What purpose have you wandering this far into Cloakwood? Are you looking to earn some money? If you are, I would be. I. If you are, I would be willing to pay a considerable amount for your assistance. I am Aldith Sashenstar, a noble from the city of Baldur's Gate. Perhaps you have heard of me? Ah, uh, no matter. I'm looking for some good, strong people who could defend me against a band of savages. These ruffians have been threatening my companions and me with bodily harm. Would you be interested? Let's just say yes, we would. Good. I'm glad you had the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilized men, we realized that it's well within our rights to hunt where we damn well please. After a few more days of hunting, the crass woodmen lost all pretense of humanity and murdered Elban, one of my oldest friends. I'm sure that they plan to attack our cottage here, so we had best be prepared. Well, it's a good sign. But probably not, actually. 
Can we talk our way out of this? I would love to talk our way out of this. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Trespassers and butchers of our wood, I, Seneyad, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet who are the ones that stand beside you? With them we have no quarrel. It is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They are most likely not told of the druid they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decision and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Do not listen to these slavering wild men. I forget what voice I did before. Oh, well. My dear friends, they lie as befits the uncultured barbarians that they are. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm glad she's in my party. Suniot, it is good to see you once more. Tahira, you are welcome among us. The trees have missed your gentle care. Will you aid us against these barbaric interlopers? Hmm, I can do no less. Ovid Lodge? Sorry, Aldith, but we're siding with the Druids. They have this great aloe vera bomb they are giving away samples of, and my armor has been chafing a bit, you know? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, why don't we come to a peaceful solution? Let's go for that. No! No, 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 no. Why can't we come to a peaceful solution? No, Ovid Lodge, you cannot ask us to me. I will not. Uh, there must be a way to solve this without bloodshed. It must be stamped out before they cause further harm to the forest, but I wish not to burden my friend. So be it, these trespassers may leave, but I warn you now, these are my protected lands. If you further disturb the balance, the repercussions will be severe. Consider yourself warned. You will not consider staying, Jahira? I'm afraid not. Safe travels then, my friend. One day, perhaps, we will meet again. Be well, Seniad, be well. Oh! Sweet! Forest friend is an achievement I just got for that, thankfully. I give you my gratitude for the aid you had given us. If you ever travel to Baldur's Gate, come to the Merchant's League Estate and I will aid you in any way I can. Take now this small token of my appreciation. Ooh, two thousand. Oh, I also got Noble Assistant. Cool. Potion of Heroism, that's fun. And Imowen has leveled up. Other clutch has leveled up. Good, good. Good, good. I am... Whoo! Glad I stuck that peaceful route, you know? Alright. Let us do some levelings. No one else had to level up, right? Yeah. Level up. Perfect. She gets a bunch of skills. Let's do... Let's increase her open lock skill. Quite a bit more, because that is what has come up most handy thus far. Sweet. I should have looked at what other uh, skill. B -b -b -b. I should have looked at what other skills increased, but I did not. Anyway, when able to level up, additional weapon proficiencies one, cool. Additional skill points twenty five. Additional hit points eight, and lore increased by three. That's fun. What can I increase? Can I do anything with the short bow? I cannot increase that further. Hmm. Cannot increase short sword further either. Maybe I will... I'll increase single weapon style, because that might give us a bonus proficiency, I think. Hmm. What about this? I might actually do the Sword and Shield just because she does have a buckler. And then we'll make her, uh, we'll increase her Find Traps a lot, along with her Detect Illusion. Because Abed Glotch is going to be my lock opener. I guess I will make her my sneaker. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Good times, good times. Now, whoops, what else is there for me to do? Competing iron mine hidden somewhere deep within the forest. So I am apparently gonna yeah, just keep wandering this area.
Anything? No? I think there should be more to this building than there currently appears to be. It is locked. Mm-hmm. Yes. Out of time to put those lock picking skills to use. Certainly. Yay. Parties can't experience. You've a task for the group. There we go. Ooh. Got more items out of that. That's fun. For the group. I do feel like hmm? maybe we should be detecting some things. Yep. Just because yes, oh, oh, for the, group. the building looks so much bigger oh, on I the outside. Your I just I care not. want to know the group. there is something hidden. Hmm. Nature servant for the group. Does not appear to be, unfortunately. So we shall venture on, adventure further, like around the building. Wherever will take us deeper into the forest, really. bridge. Shall we cross? I think so. Who are you? I'm gonna talk to a Koran. Oh, <sighs> Sorry if I startled you, but I always approach strangers cautiously. I'm Koran, hunter and archer. Are any of you interested in making some money? If you are, I'm the person who could help you do it. Sure. Tell us more. Good. I'm glad you're smart enough to recognize opportunity when it comes knocking. The deal is this. I've been hired out by the mayor of Baragost to hunt down a great winged dragon that's been plaguing the caravan routes. He's offered 2,000 gold for its head. Now, before you get cold feet, let me allay your fears. The only descriptions of the beast have always mentioned its deadly barbed tail. From what I know about dragons, they don't have barbs on their tails. That's something unique to wyverns. So all we have to do is find this wyvern's nest and kill it. Our only worries are if it has friends over for dinner. So what is your decision? Yay or nay? Yay it is, I guess. We shouldn't tarry any longer. Let's collect the heads of these soon-to-be-sorry wyverns. I am... Oh. No. No, I don't want him right now. What's his name? Yeah, I'll remove him for now. Yeah, I'm done. Hunter of wyverns. All right. Hmm. Can I not get across this bridge without him? Oh, perhaps we shall meet again. Yes, thank you. Get out of my way. Thank you. Collision. 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 All the collision. All the collision problems. I don't like the idea of having to leave party members behind. Hmm. Do I need to go further into the forest, is my question. Yes. Because that is more of Cloakwood. I probably do. It's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Oh, who are you? Tibber. Well, before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and rest everybody. Just because... I have a feeling we're about to come across a fight. I just, I just have a feeling. And speed up. There we go. All right. Let's talk to Tiber. Please let me speak before you attack. Hi, I'm Tiber. Could, can I take up some of your time? I would be very grateful if you would just listen to, if you would just help me. Uh, sure. What is that trouble, you stranger? Hey, thank you, thank you. It's my brother, you see. He and I went to the Cloakwood to clear the woods of the spider colony that infested. I know it sounds foolish, but my brother had found the sword Spider's Bane. 
The sword was created to kill spiders, and we thought we could become famous. The heroes of Cloakwood and all that. But my brother hasn't returned yet, and it's been more than a week. Please, could you go into the woods and find him for me? My mother would be so shattered if Shellac were to be dead. Um, yes, I'll find him in hopes of getting the spider's bane sword. Ha ha ha. Oh yes, please search quickly. His name's Shellac. Be careful. Spiders in the cloak wood. Let's check out details. Okay, that's all we know. All right. Nature Fair enough. Off into the cloak wood. We go. Haha. -ha. Perfect. We're doing great, guys. Yeah. I will show you How are these people held? What what is holding us exactly? <laughs> I've done had enough of this. What are these things? Yes, oh as you direct. Did the spiders just shoot a bunch you of webs at us? Is that what happened? I don't Something has happened. Oh, come on, guys. I guess I'll just, um... Wait for this spell to pass. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Yeah, good? Good? We're all moving along now. Alright. Alright, good times. Good, good. Good times. That's the story I'm gonna... Edder cap. Do I know what... My blade will cut you down to oh. Size. Oh, gosh. I need you guys to actually go... Back. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What, what is this holding that is happening? My wounds are too grave. I am a dead man. I... Oh my gosh, what is happening? Why does everyone suck? These people are all held, I can't do anything. Son of a monkey. Son of a monkey. What are these? Damn it! I... I literally can't do anything. Well, what are these things that held us and how is what I need to know. Nature's servant awaits. Is good as done. Cloak would travel some more. Gonna rest again. Let's get through that rest. Doug got it. That guy needs to go forward. That guy needs to go forward. You can stay back. You can stay back. You can go with that. And then... You can go with that. Yeah, die. Die you. Okay. What exactly happened before? Oh well, we're gonna rest. Oh! Your mind drifts back to events past. Okay. And to triumphs well deserved indeed. A fortified camp secluded and guarded from the entire coast. And it is not but easy pickings before your guile. All manner of bandit and brigand to move about here. But you may as well be invisible amongst them. Your recollections are interrupted by a powerful gust of wind, lifting you high above the camp and woods both. Your arc crests in the high morning sun, and for a moment you are as a bird. Such Thanks symbolic dreams. Those below. With unseen hands, the earth reasserts her hold on you, and suddenly you feel less like a sparrow and more like a catapult stone. Without impact or fanfare, the ground accepts your passage and does not strike back. In a moment, all is black, 
And for all you know, you have descended to the very core of the world. The rock around you illuminates, and a cavern slowly takes shape. Though you can see no more than a few steps ahead or behind, stumbling forward, you find yourself face to face with yourself. Before you is a likeness in stone exact to the smallest detail. A voice in the darkness accuses you, even as it seems amused. Such pride undeserved, great predator, when your whole being is borrowed. Credit where it is due, and dues where payment is demanded. A dagger of bone flies from the blackness and strikes the statue square. It cracks slightly, but the pain you feel is as though you were rent asunder. You were <laughs> made as you are, taunts the voice, and you can also be broken. You fall backward into the void and do not come to rest until morning wakes you. Gain special ability, slow poison. Ooh, that's nice. I will talk to this guy. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Yes, oh as you direct. How do I do What is Trap sprung. Okay. That is what happened before. A trap was sprung. So now I'm going to have to have everyone, or not everyone, but our two main people detect spells slash illusions. That makes a little more sense. Although it does kind of suck to have to, like... Yes, surely. You know... Just basically wait for it to pass. Ugh. Whatever. Are we good? Good on you if you save the day. You've attacked? All right. Let's what find some want? traps and detect illusion. Let's do it. Nature servant awake for the group. They're still searching, right? Yep. Yeah, it looks like they're still searching. Yes, oh, oh. As good as done. How are we doing on these traps, guys? Alright, we're gonna immediately retreat. Yes, I know there's enemy sighted, but we're going to retreat just because I have a feeling. You've attacked. You have needed Cool. Nature servant. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Come here. Yeah. Now we're gonna run forward because we know that space is safe and free of traps. Perfect. Let's get some coin. Yes, oh um present authority figure. Or detect yes. traps. More detect traps. You're good. As good as done. It is. The trap must be somewhere up here. As I incrementally move. And we just wait for this person to come to us. Because that's how I roll. No? They're not coming? not have noticed us. There we go. Now he noticed us. That's right. That's right. Throw you into a false sense of security before we kick your ass. There we go. Jeez, that did not go as planned. There we go. Nature servant awaits. As good as done. Hmm? You're a queer fellow. I want to know where this dang trap is that got us last time. You know? There it is. Frick. Found it. 
found it. Question is, who is better at traps? Traps, traps, traps. Um, skills. Fine. Uh, it's a... Is it an open lock skill? Or... What is the... I think it's the open lock skill that is disarming traps. I think. So it should be Ovid Clodge. I am much more at ease in the forest. Certainly. It's okay. Just get rid of the trap. Alright, cool. Now that we're done with the trap, we can attack everyone. Everyone's good. Everyone's good. Now all aim on, all focus on this person now. All right, and now we're all gonna focus on this guy. Yeah, we did it. We did the thing. Yeah, yeah. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him like it. Hit him where it hurts. Silver ring, grease spell, which can again be. All right. Yes. Back to detecting traps and illusions. You've a task for the group. Let's go this way, I guess. Because this just seems to be the let's move further into the woods direction, you know? Which is kind of what we were aiming for. Although, I do seem a little trapped here. Hmm. Maybe it's not all it cracked up to be. All right, that's fine. Let's double back, I guess, just to be sure. Dang it. That's funny as I saw something that I was like, surely there must be a trap there. And I still hit it. I still hit the trap. <sighs> yeah, so what happened the first time was I just had unfortunate timing of traps combined with enemies. Enemy, denemy, frenemy, frenemy. These are not frenemies, however. What is the point? Ah, oh, come on. People were safe. And now people are not safe. Uh, so this reminds me of a time where I was stuck in an unpleasant conversation with a guy that I, you know, I'm completely making this up just to, like, kind of pass the time as I'm stuck. As I've been stuck. What is up this way? There is more cloakwood? I have to keep going that way, don't I? Alright, travel that way I will. Now we're definitely gonna rest some more. So when they talk about deep in cloakwood for the mine, I don't think they're joking. I think this is a long journey. Shoot! Shoot! Hate these guys. I got it. Oh, you awaken in a cold sweat, looking about wildly. You are horrified to see a huge insect bearing down upon you. Its eight legs and multiple eyes betray its identity. A giant spider. All right, fine. There we go. Can we actually get everyone? Cool. Can we now actually rest? That would be lovely. Do we? Do we do it? No. More spiders. Oh, my heart's really not in this. All right, everyone attack that spider. Cool. You good? We good, everyone? All right. Can we actually rest this time? Thank you. Do appreciate. Appreciate muchly. So, this edge of Cloakwood is on the freaking water.
Fascinating. Who are you? Hello. Gentlemen, gentlewomen. Yes. Yes. I introduce myself. I am Eldor Kron. Oh, he's so fancy. Sorry if I seem out of breath, but I had to retreat from a battle. I was ambushed by a dozen gnolls farther back on the trail. I handily dispatched them, but thought better of fighting their half-dozen ogre friends. I think I've evaded them for now. Would any of you care for a drink of some fine Selgantian brandy? Sure, give us some booze. I hope you are enjoying your liquor. It is some of the best you can find. All of you are probably wondering why I'm being so generously. Obviously not from the kindness of his heart, you think. Well, in a way, I am. You look like the type to be on the outlook for ways to improve the quality of your life. Well, I have a proposal that could help you in that endeavor. You see, there's a girl, my lover in fact, who desires to escape her father and live on her own. Her father is Entar Silvershield, one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This, of course, makes her desires more difficult than that of the average city girl. However, with your assistance, we could help her escape the tyrannical clutches of Entar. Here's the punchline. Since Entar is going to be hunting us anyway, we can blackmail him for hordes of cash and not worry about our captive escaping. After all, we're doing it all for the sake of Sky. Now, we wouldn't go about this right away. In fact, I'll help you with whatever you're doing until you decide to head up to Baldur's Gate. Just think of it as one favor deserving another. Um... I... I'm glad you're all savvy enough. He's going to try to... You know, I don't want him. Get out of here. We're done. You're so dull. Eldoth and Sky. Who? Wait, who is Sky? Oh, it's it is the girl's name. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps we will meet again. You've attacked All right. The group. Moving on. Moving on to fight more things. It's the story I'm sticking with. Or I'm hoping to stick with. Come along, everybody. So much. So much. And so, oh, is that another squirrel? Yeah, another squirrel. That's great. Hmm. I feel like we're getting into mine territory. Perhaps further up? Ah, yes. I feel like we must be heading the correct direction to Cloakwood. Would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. Oh, Laskell, you there! I command you to stop, so that I may parley with you a moment. Um, uh, who are you? What is it you want with us? My name is Laskell. I am the protector of the Cloakwood. I would ask you a question before I take my leave of you. I have a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. Would you be a representative of that organization? Um. Which group is the Iron Throne? You are mistaken. I did not mean to give you a written message, but rather a verbal one. Know that the Iron Throne's time within this wood is ending. The Shadow Druids will no longer sit about and let them pollute this forest. You will be our first example of what happens to those who defile nature. Son of a monkey. I don't want to do this. I don't want to stand for this. I didn't- I made a poor decision based off who the throne- the Iron Throne was. Not knowing- based on not knowing who the Iron Throne was. That's what I meant to say. Cool. Oh! And no, uh... Oh, no spider attacks that time. Cool. Oh. I guess we're going for the cave bear. I don't think this is our best plan. Okay. Wow. You've attacked as you direct. So no spiders, but we did fight a bear, which equaled about the same experience. Uh, should we give some booze? We use the extra help, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to remove him. And we're gone. Good. Blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to wander off back down that pathway. I will make the decision that I want to make. I can't imagine doing this game as like, like without save scumming, especially early on with how difficult some of the things turn out to be. Um, 
I didn't real. So what happened was, I didn't understand that the Iron Throne weren't his friends. Like, I thought it was his friends, which is why I was like, yes, we're part of that organization. Go along with it. But, uh, here we go. We're going to try that again. Hmm. An enemy of an enemy is a friend. My earlier question was just a test. I am glad to know that you also oppose this organization. They've been a blight on these woods ever since they reopened the ancient war of an iron mine. Well, I'm glad to know you. Take this. Hopefully it will aid you against the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne's fort is located to the east. Great! Potion of invulnerability. Oh, cool. Yes, I dig it. Done. Question is, is that part of... Do I need to go to the east? I don't want to... Oh, this could be dangerous. Enemy... Where? Here? Oh. Alright. Everyone regroup! And now attack. That's right, so, wow, Zan. Zan <laughs> killed the wolf. Alright, sure. Sounds good to me. Going to continue on up the river? So they're fort is to the east. That may be where we want to end up. Let's go this way, because I feel like there's something built into the path here. Or it looks like a path. Oh! Hello. Tasloy. Tas okay, apparently it's a creature. I will show you cool. Cool. Whatever these creatures are, they are not very tough. All right, that turned out really easy, for the most part. Can I help you? Nature for the group. Khalid is encumbered and slowed. Of course he is. Why would he not be? Let's go to Ovid Clanch. Is she encumbered and slowed? No, she is not. Everyone's good. Yes, all the group. All right. What were they guarding? Is this the mines? <gasps> this must be the mines. That's my guess. Holy smokes. Crikey. Peter the North. Baby Wyvern, baby Wyvern. Uh. Move along, friends. Nothing to see here. Just a humble woodsman doing a little spelunky. Um. It's an odd place to meet a woodsman. Are you not afraid of those baby wyverns behind you? Huh. Alright, you just don't know the subtleties of wood and wood-related activities. These creatures are docile and, and it is worth the risk. Um, even the darkest of caves can be a rewarding experience for the woodsman that knows how to handle himself. Why, um, subterranean trees can yield the best material for carving, uh, ornamental things. He has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, I should have Certainly. Have I given you ca given cause for you to doubt me? Of course not. Everything is just as it should be. There's nothing untoward about me or my wyvern. I mean, there's nothing untoward about these wyverns. Are you implying something? Do your actions not seem odd to you? Hmm. Um, not at all. It is not uncommon for, for woodsmen to seek the comfort of natural caverns and, and Oda blazes with it. I can tell by your questions that you suspect me of lying. And I tire this ruse. No, I'm not a simple woodsman. I am training these beasts to serve as guards. And now that you have interrupted me, I shall never have them ready for the mine. Your presence has agitated them. They will be unmanageable for days now. Perhaps, perhaps I can play it with meat. Your meat. All right. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go for taking that guy out super quick. Peter the North is dead. Can you do a missile on this bad guy? Cool. Everyone's good. Everyone's good. Woof. Yeah. Got some fun wyvern stuff. I just gained 450 experience, suckers. I don't think we need the longbow or the sword. But we can do, grab some splint mail and arrows. 
I'll leave the other stuff. Is anyone slowed? I think this must be the entrance to the mine. Or it is a chest. Is it? Nothing. Alright. Yes, or as you direct. That is disappointing. Hmm. Guess back out we go. Unless what? we can detect some illusion. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. You've attacked as good as done. How is the things going? How are the things going? <sighs> Alright, it's fine. Okay, so there's no one here. Where is the mine, though? Is that not close to the mine? I feel like it probably should be. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on a squirrel. Brown bear. So brown bears are kind. Cave bears are not. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, here we go. Maybe we'll be better off here? Can Is this the edge of the map? Can I literally not go any further? Huh. I have hit the edge, the westward edge of the map. Who is that? It's a wolf. We'll be good. Oh, lots of wolves. Lots of wolves. All right, all right, everyone, just attack things all at once. I'm just hoping that... Okay, everything's going fine. I just got really concerned for the, um... You know, when a wolf pack approaches you, I think it's a good reason to get nervous. Is this the mine? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Staff, sling, leave those. Grab the money. And of course it's locked. Yes. But no worries. I have a thief. Simpler don than said. Ooh. Now we shall see what's in here. Potion of freedom, potion of healing, antidote. Nature I like all these the things. Group. Be good for you to watch your actions while in this oh. wood. Sinead's followers are well known to me. You travel with the one known as Jira. Her naive views of society living in harmony with nature must be cleansed from the world so that nature may regain the respect it deserves. As a shadow arch druid, it falls to me to be the sickle that cleaves your parasitic taint from this forest. There will be no talking, no negotiation. Well, son of a monkey. <sighs> so this guy's a bad guy. Good to freaking know. With everyone so close, we need. We need some shillelagh. You have need of me. For you, yeah, you're gonna just kill the crap out of this person. You need to switch to a dagger as well. What you want? You should probably switch to your sword as well. We are just too close to be dealing with range. I. Think. Think. I am you also. And let us hope for the best. I hope nobody died. Everyone's good. Take him out. Take him out. One more hit, guys. Take him out. There we go. Okay. Did I. Did Jahira catch it? Amaran, Dressad attack, Amaran, everyone. Oh! Uh, <laughs> he failed casting his spell. That's why nothing happened. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? There's a fancy club, which is nice. And now we shall raid all of his stuff. Or, wait. I guess his body just disappeared, is what, what happened there? Okay. Ooh. 
Magical bullets. What? Certainly. Take them. Take them now. And a potion of fortitude. Should be everything, right? Looks like everything. Alright. So that was a bit of a different adventure than I expected. Like, very different. I expected to find the mines. Oh. You cannot hide from judgment while within the sight of a shadow druid. All who claim membership in traditional druidic orders must contend with our wrath, as with all that defile nature. I identified Jahir among you, no doubt. She has converted you to her fantastical views wherein people live alongside nature in harmony. Such views are weak and must be purged. You have consorted with enemies of the shadow druids, and death shall be the penalty. Son of a biscuit, again? Y'all are the worst. Is he already dead? Yeah, he's already dead. Okay, so who can take some Our things? You've good as done. I would like to find the ding mine. This looks like a shadow druid. Um, who's this? Let's talk to Faldorn. I have been looking for those who would fight for the sanctity of this forest. Evil men have been defiling the woodlands with smoke and waste, all in a futile quest for the metal iron. Would you join me in my task? I would destroy these men in the Iron Throne. Come with me. They dwell to the east within a fort, so I have to go east. Sure, we'll help you. You will help me. Let us find the men who foul our forest quickly. Their punishments must be swift. We must travel east to their fort. I don't want to get rid of her. I don't want to get rid of um, other people, though. Nature is all. Very well, but do not forget what I have taught you, friends. Walk with rage against all who threaten the Great Mother. Sure. All right. That must be what we need to go. Oh. Cave. Treehouse. This must be the... Maybe they, they must have access to the mines. But I will need to cut back east. All right. That's fine. I just want to get to, like, maybe if I go to the bottom edge, I'll be able to quick travel. I just would like to, yes, cool. Is there a fort to the east? <sighs> no, I don't think I can do that. I think I need to actually go on foot to open up the fort to the east as an option. So this is, uh, we're just gonna hoof it. Sorry, this episode seems to be, uh, taking longer than normal, mostly because it has taken me a while to get to where I would like to go. Hello, black bear. I like that bears are nice. Unless they're cave bears. Apparently those guys are problems. We are going to... Can we cross the water? I don't think we can cross that water. So we'll cross the bridge this way. Ah, collision. And then we will continue east. Oh, I'm a little baby. Boom, boom, boom. I wish I knew more of that song. There we go. That must be it. All right, so I'm assuming that this is where the fort is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and call it quits for now. And then we can dive into the fort next time. Thank you for joining. I'll see you all later. Bye.